नो योर प्लैनेट पार्ट टू मूवमेंट ऑफ द अर्थ रोटेशन ऑफ द अर्थ द अर्थ रोटेट्स अराउंड इट्स एक्सेस वंस एवरी ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स द इमेजरी लाइन अराउंड विच एन ऑब्जेक्ट स्पिन्स इज कॉल्ड इट्स एक्सेस द अर्थ एक्सेस पासिस थ्रू द सेंटर ऑफ द अर्थ फ्रॉम द नॉर्थ पोल टू द साउथ पोल The axis is tilted at an angle of twenty-three and a half degree. The Earth rotates around its imaginary axis. The movement of the Earth around its own axis once every twenty-four hours is known as rotation. The Earth rotates from west to east, and that is why the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Effects of rotation: day and night. As the earth rotates the part of the earth that faces the sun experiences day and the part that is away from the sun experiences night as the earth keeps rotating the darker side gradually faces the sun and receives daylight and other part experiences night revolution of the earth the earth also revolves around the sun this movement of the earth around the sun is called revolution the path around which the earth revolves is known as orbit the orbit is elliptical in shape the earth takes 365/14 days to complete one revolution we consider one year to have 365 days the remaining 6 hours are added and after every 4 years an extra day is added to february the year in which there are 366 days and february has 29 days is known as a leap year effects of revolution seasons different parts of the earth receive varying amount of heat and sunlight this cause seasons the hemisphere which is leaning towards the sun receives more heat than the other so the hemisphere leaning towards the sun has summer and hemisphere which is far away from the sun experience winter when the rays of the sun shine vertically on the tropic of cancer on 21st june the northern hemisphere experiences summer and the southern hemisphere experiences winter this day is known as summer solstice a solstice occurs when the sun reaches its highest or lowest point in the sky at midday and result in the longest or shortest days on earth When the rays of the sun shine vertically on the tropic of Capricorn on 22nd December the southern hemisphere experiences summer and northern experiences winter this day is known as winter solstice on 21st March and 23rd September the rays of the sun are directly overhead the equator on these two days the whole earth experiences equal day and equal night on 21st march the earth experiences spring or vernal equinox and on 23rd september on the earth experiences autumn equinox now let's recall the movement of the earth around its own axis once every 24 hour is known as rotation rotation causes day and night and affects the distribution of sunlight The movement of the earth around the sun once every 365/14 days is called revolution. It causes changes in seasons. When the sun shines directly over the tropics, it causes solstice. The sun shines directly over the equator during the equinox.